So what we're going to start is we're going to start with just a breath, because all good movement should be attached to breath, whether it be a slow breathing in or fast out. So we're going to start to the diagonal. And just spread out a little bit here. I don't need that much more. And we're going to start on the right foot, and we're going to feel the energy from the feet, lower course, initiate into our triangle. One, two, three. Then we're going to spiral the body, right foot arm forward. Then, you're going to just watch me for a second. Now I'm going to tilt from my sternum. I'm going to tilt. So it looks like my right arm's going up, but it's not. It's an illusion. I'm tilting from my sternum. You create the illusion of that going up. So we have one, two, three, two. I start tilting. And then, once I'm here, I'm going to activate the back muscles like I learned from my right back muscles up to look like I'm stretching even farther and go up to the toe. So we have lots of volume, but we have to stretch outside of our center in our body. We've done it through understanding the angles of the body. So let's talk about that again. So the first one is just the breath, making sure that lower core initiates it. We spiral, then we tilt. Now we activate those from the feet, lower core, up to the right back muscle. So it looks like we're stretching farther, but we still feel very connected. And then you can actually press down into the floor to raise up to your toe. And then just step forward, small step on three. Isn't it beautiful when you see someone do a slow, sustained action that has control and their body is fully expanded or voluminous without looking distorted? And this is how you get there. So that's why I wanted to add this.